I was, had the pleasure of working with this discus thrower in, in New Zealand. And he had had bilateral patellar tendinopathy for a long time. And it got so bad that he was, he was a national level gym, uh, discus thrower, um, but he was unable to train anymore because of the pain. I, I interacted with he and his, his group there and, and he started doing isometrics and he would do them, he'd do them um, five days a week because he wasn't able to train other ways. And he would do the five days a week. He'd, he'd add some nutritional components in there. But what he would do is he would do kind of, all he would do is take, go to a, a leg extension machine and put the, put the pin at the bottom, one leg at a time, try and push as hard as he could to lift that weight, hold it for 30 seconds, pushing as hard as he could. And the nice thing about this case was that he had gotten an ultrasound um, right before he started, where you can clearly see the hole in his patellar tendon. And then he got one seven weeks later, and the hole was completely gone. Not only was the hole gone, but if you look at the collagen in the patellar tendon that, you, that was closest to the ultrasound probe, that actually had become thicker and more aligned. And so this does not take months and years. This can actually happen quite quickly. Our discus thrower was obviously using a really, a really um, flexed joint angle of the knee. So he was probably more like 60 degrees when he was doing it. So that's a really big joint angle. And so it's possible that that is having a benefit simply because it's, you're starting with a, a longer tendon. As you go th through stress relaxation, you're gonna get more load through the scar from a longer position than a shorter position. That's the idea at least.